In this video, I'd like to talk about the reciprocal trigonometric ratios, namely the secant, the cosecant, and the tangent functions. And before we do any example problems, let's just look at the definitions for these functions, and then we'll come back and do some different problems. So before we define the new functions, let's just take a look at our original three trig functions. And we can remember those, remember with this so katoa, where the definitions of our three functions are essentially within this phrase here. And so for all of these, let's say we have some right triangle. Let me build that. And we have some angle. Let's call this the angle theta. This is just the Greek letter theta. And so S, that stands for the sine. Let me use a different color. So S is the sine of our angle. And for all of these, they're going to be ratios, or they will be defined as a fraction. And the sine function is defined as the ratio between the opposite side of our triangle and the hypotenuse of our triangle. So from this angle theta, the opposite side is the one straight across from it. And the hypotenuse is the long side. It's the one across from this right angle here. Now, the other side of the triangle is what we call the adjacent, since adjacent just means next to this angle theta. And it's not the long side, so we don't call it the hypotenuse. So the sine of our angle is defined as the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. The cosine, that's what C is, the cosine of our angle, that's defined as the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So it's always the first letter divided by the second letter once you identify sine, cosine, or tangent. So adjacent over hypotenuse. And then lastly, we have this tangent function. So T for tangent. Let me stick with capitalizing these. So the tangent of our angle is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent. So opposite divided by adjacent. Now, our three new trig functions are going to be the reciprocals of these. Or essentially, we're just going to flip each of these fractions and come up with three new functions. So let's start with what we call the secant. So the secant, which I'll write like this, or SEC of our angle theta, the secant is going to be the reciprocal of the cosine function. So one way to write it is as 1 over the cosine of our angle. And when we look at comparing the side lengths, since cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, the secant, since that's the reciprocal of it, we'll just flip these over. The secant is the ratio of the hypotenuse to the adjacent side. Now that's one of our definitions. The next one we can look at is what we call the cosecant. So let me just make a little bit of room so we have some space for these. So the cosecant is related to the sine function. And we write that CSC of our angle theta. That's 1 divided by the sine of the angle theta. And so since sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosecant is this flipped over. It's the hypotenuse divided by the opposite side. And then lastly, we have what's called the cotangent function. So the cotangent, that will just be 1 divided by the tangent. So we write that as cot of theta, and I need more room here. We have 1 divided by the tangent of the angle. And since tangent is opposite over adjacent, we'll just flip this for the cotangent. So that will be the adjacent side divided by the opposite side. Now, they can be a little bit tricky to remember, but I do have a personal method to keep these in order. So you can notice that the secant goes with the cosine and the cosecant goes with the sine. So you might expect that the cosine and the cosecant are related. 
That's what most students expect when they first learn these. But in fact, it's the opposite. So the way I remember this is that I think originally that cosine and cosecant should be related. But then I remember that it's the opposite of what I think. And so that reminds me that the cosecant, instead of being related to the cosine, is actually related to the sine. Or in other words, you might think that the cosine is related to the cosecant, but in fact it's the opposite, it's related to the secant. And they're always the reciprocals. Now tangent and cotangent are what you would expect, they are related to each other. So those are not as bad to remember. So these are the formal definitions. And how these functions are used, that's something we'll look at in a different video or even why it's important to define these. We'll look at that in another video. But we've now covered the six main trigonometric functions here, sine, cosine, tangent, and then the reciprocals, secant, cosecant, and cotangent. So with that in mind, let's go back and do some example problems.